Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about upset control in rotary friction welding, part three. In previous episodes, we talked about upset control. Upset is the amount of shortening that you get in the part as a result of friction welding. It's different than overall length because the overall length is how long the part is after welding. If we fix the amount of energy that was going into the part, then with perfect parts, we could get very repeatable upset control. But we know that incoming parts aren't perfect and slight variations would cause different variations in upset. So if we changed our control technique to allow the amount of energy to vary in order to control upset, then we can overcome these incoming part variations, but we still get some variations at the end of the process due to forge variations and breaking variations. So it's still not quite good upset control, uh, but it's better than just controlling the amount of energy. This technique is about controlling the amount of length of the part. So again, we're allowing the amount of energy that comes in while we're rotating to vary to overcome different incoming part lengths. So if I have a longer part uh, coming in, I want to be able to weld for a longer period of time, producing more upset. So at the end of this, the distance between the two backups will be the same every time. This is represented by the orange curve here and the friction limit distance. That's the transition point where I stop energy input. Conversely, if I have a short part, right, then I don't need to rotate nearly as long in order to get the same length of part. So I would have less energy input producing less upset, but I would still get a very similar welded length. Now my welded length is going to still vary in the forge phase because I'm changing the amount of energy from part to part, so I'll get some variation there. And I also get some variation as a result of changes in the breaking phase. Now this is the best length control technique in direct drive friction welding for two parts. I still have some variation in my length control, but I am overcoming incoming part variations. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on rotary friction welding or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.